Mr. J. Du. Um, welcome to our exhibit titled The Voyage. The story that you chose is entitled The Lady or the Tiger by Ralph Stockton. Uh, let me introduce you to your tour guide, Ms. Stacy Senorini. very famous in 18th century because of making stories with an open ending. And this is an example of a famous story. So, let's begin. So, in this story, I'm a princess. that any ordinary father and daughter would do. That's why I love him. I am the only child of my father. That's why he's very protective. And he loves me so much. That's why I love him too. He's very strict. That he won't allow me to accept suitors. Because for him, I deserve a more better man. He also made a law that whoever tries to court me, he'll be put into an arena in front of the two same doors that may contain a tiger or a beautiful lady. If that man chooses the door with a tiger in it, he will die. But if he'll choose the door with the lady in it, he will get married with that girl and they'll live happily ever after. At first, it was very hard for me because I won't experience that love that any other youth like me would experience. But, of course, he's my father. I don't have any choice but to obey him, even if it's the hardest thing to do. But, one day, I fell in love with a soldier. He was very handsome, and he's not strict, just like my father. That's why we had a secret relationship. We meet every day far away the castle so that my father wouldn't know what's going on between the two of us. I don't want to disobey him, but it's just I fell in love with him. So, we meet each other and we love each other so much. So one day, my father knew what happened. He was very angry because he didn't know that I can disobey him. I didn't mean to do that, but it's just I can try to resist that feeling. It was hard for me to, to disobey him, but it happened. And I don't have anything to do but to accept the punishment. My father loves me so much. That's why he didn't punish me. But the soldier. He called the attention of the soldier and asked him if our relationship was true. I was so shocked. When he said it was all true, because I know he will die, and I won't see him anymore. It was hard for me, because he used to be with me 
and now I don't know how to live without him. But it's our fault. We need to pay for it. The day came. between the two doors. I was very afraid because I don't know what what will happen. But just before but just before he entered the arena I noticed that the girl behind the door is a very beautiful lady. And that's not all. They had a secret affair. I was very mad at him. Because I did everything for him and this is how he repaid me. I can't just accept the fact that he'll replace with that girl. Yes, she's beautiful. But I know I'm better than her. I did everything for him. I even disobeyed my father just to defend him. It's very unfair. I wanted to kill him. I want to let him choose the door with the tiger in him. Because I know he will die. And I will be the happiest princess in the world. Because of his death. But I thought it was just too easy. But maybe because I just love him so much that I don't want him to be killed helplessly in front of my two eyes. I need to decide because he's asking help from me. I don't know what to choose. This is the hardest decision in my whole life. These two doors, I don't want to see them again. I don't want to see these doors ever again. Because I know after this decision, he will perish. And I don't want it to happen. It was really hard for me because if I let him choose the door with the tiger in it, he will die. And I don't know what to do if he dies. It will, it will really be hard for me. But if I let him choose the door with the lady in it, I will die. Because of the heartache that I would feel when I see, when I'll see them living happily ever after. I know it's my fault, but it was really hard for me. This is really hard. I love him, but. I love him, but I just really don't know. So, I just point my finger to the right door. So he opened it slowly, and as he opened the door, that is where my story ended. So what do you think? Is it better for me to see him dying at once or to see him living happily ever after?